Any cocktail with mezcal is okay in my book. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we have another drink in our industry series. Now, this one comes to us from Dennis Schaefer of Bellingham, Washington, and he works at a place called The Oyster Bar at Bayou on Bay. Now, this cocktail is called the Heart of Oaxaca, and it's kind of a it's take on like a Manhattan style cocktail where you have your spirit, sweet vermouth, and bitters. We're going to start making it right now. Uh, you might have guessed the name like Oaxaca in the, in the name of the drink. We're going to be using the agave-based spirit for the base, and we are. Um, we're going to use kind of a, kind of a younger uh, mezcal, and I'm using the Damage Vita here. And we're going to do two ounces of this. and then add that to our mixing glass. Now the next component, like, like, like the Manhattan I mentioned, is sweet vermouth. And I'm using Carpano Antica formula. Now this is what Dennis uh, specific, specifically calls for. Um, and different vermouths really do taste quite different. So, um, you know, I, if you can follow it and have this, I would use it. So we're gonna do one ounce of this. And add that in. Now for the third and final ingredient, uh, he calls for chocolate bitters. A couple different ones you get on the market. Uh, Scrappies makes the chocolate bitters. I'm using the bitter truce kind of mole bitter here, mole bitters. Um, they're you know they're going to kind of work if you have something in this range of chocolate mole, um, it'll get the job done. Now we're going to do five dashes of these. That's, that's all in it. And because all of our ingredients are clear, we'll be stirring this cocktail. And we want to give it a nice stir to chill it, um, add some dilution from the ice, and really just kind of incorporate all the ingredients. That should do it. And this will be served in the cocktail glass, obviously. Uh, you want to make sure your glass is always pre-chilled. That helps keep the, cold, the drink cold longer, and it's just a better way to serve it. Um, no garnish on this one. Dennis did say at some points he would often he would do a flamed orange zest, um, so apparently he liked that. But um, I made it and I, I really kind of like it without a garnish, so that's what I do. Uh, the major players here is obviously the mezcal, it's the base spirits, the most of it. Um, so you get the little bit of smoke from it, the the agave flavor. Um, you know, the, the bitters, the chocolate, you kind of, the mix plays well with that, I think. Um, and then the, uh, the Carpano is a, it's a pretty rich and sweet, sweet vermouth. Um, so you need those bitters in there to help cut that down and from keep it from getting too sweet. Um, so if you're kind of in that, you know, looking for a brown stirred cocktail, this one's definitely going to fit the bill for you. Um, and it's a nice, you know, kind of variation on that classic formula, like a Manhattan, which is, you know, base spirit, sweet vermouth, bitters. And you, know, you can you can make a lot of different kinds of those kinds of drinks by just swapping out your different ingredients there. 
Um, but it's a really nice cocktail. Like I said, it's you know got some good flavors going on. Um, it's kind of a it's an easy one to make. You know you don't need any fresh ingredients on hand. Like you can always have these in your cabinet. And I, I thank Dennis for submitting this to us and letting us make it on our show. And I hope you uh, like it when you try it out. But that's how you make the heart of Oaxaca. <laughs>